Hey guys, welcome to my 22 week update where my baby weighs a pound and I feel him kicking constantly. To get started with this week's update, I first want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the sweet comments in my last video. Everybody was like, go get a massage, girl. You're not gonna regret it, go do it. And it was perfect timing. My best friend, Missy Landing, was in town and we decided that we deserved a massage. So we went and got a massage and it really was much needed. It felt so good. I told the lady to work on my lower back. She did a really good job. And honestly, I plan on getting another one and I'm not gonna wait that long to do it I definitely enjoyed it I think it did me really good it felt really good to relax and I'm really glad that I did it with that though like I said my lower back has been hurting so much this week it hurt last week the massage definitely helped but I feel it constantly especially on my left side if I'm sitting for a while and I get up it really aches picking up Jackson it really aches it just comes with pregnancy, but it definitely is a symptom that I'm having. I ordered my very first item for baby cakes. I was so excited. I decided I wanted to get my little baby a blanket just like I got Jackson a blanket. This is an infant size Minky Couture blanket and it just has like some elephants. Yeah, elephants, tigers, a little bit of giraffe on the front and the back is like this orange, really soft minky material and I decided that I wanted to get my other little guy a blanket as well and it is a just like this light blue color the back is a light blue and then the front instead of all these animals it just has row after row after row of elephants and it's really cute and I these blankets can be really pricey but they always have coupons and stuff going on so I found a coupon and before it expired I hurried and ordered it so it was really fun to get that and I'm going to be anxiously awaiting for it to arrive. Along with a little baby, there is still no name yet. A lot, a lot of people ask, what's the name? And once again, when we know, we are gonna scream it and we will let you guys know. Uh, but actually, this week is actually the first week in my pregnancy that we've talked about Na baby names that we've been legit talking about it because in the past it's just been like oh do you like this no do you like this no and then it's not a big deal but this week we've actually kind of been like I like this name like I like this name and so we are narrowing it down we have about three or four names that we really like I have one in particular that I really love but we'll see I'll talk to Jared a little bit more about it but baby name is in the works I want to have a name I want to be able to call my son something other than just baby cakes but we will get him a name soon my guilty pleasure this week is ice cream. I have eaten ice cream like nobody's business. Ice cream and Oreos have been so yummy and cheddar cheese chips. Ch like the cheese chips are my favorite and then ice cream. It probably goes hand in hand. I like both and I've been eating plenty of both of them. The last thing I want to talk about in my update is something that I really don't talk about often but it is something that I overheard at church this week and I thought it would be really fun to share especially with a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been so sweet to support me through Jackson. where When I struggled with the infertility I got pregnant and you guys have been supporting me and a lot of you guys are still struggling with your infertility or you don't have kids or maybe you're a teenager or maybe you're a grandma and but you guys still watch and support and so I thought that this story was really sweet I overheard at church you know church sometimes you're half listening half not but from what I picked up was a girl was talking about it was either a blog or a vlog channel and how this girl had like four kids boom 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 all of her kids and she got a lot of judgment because oh it's so easy for you to have kids and we're so jealous and which you know it's 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 okay to be a little jealous you know I was definitely jealous too especially you know all my siblings were having kids and I wish that I could have been a part of it at one point but anyway um, she got a little bit of flack and she, you know her feelings got hurt and then um, a few years later she was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and the doctor said that you no longer are able to have any kids before we do these treatments like are you happy with your family and she could honestly say that she was done having kids and you know the stage 4 cancer you know 
might eventually take her life. And so pretty much it was just like don't judge others because you really don't know what the future holds, you know? And so I heard that and I just thought it was a really good story for me to hear and I thought maybe somebody would like to hear it as well, so I decided to share it with you guys, but I'm really grateful for everybody that was supporting me and is supporting me through the infertility because once you've struggled, you always struggle. I will always have PCOS. From what I understand, for a long time, I probably will have the little thyroid issue, but especially PCOS, I will always have it. I do not know what it's gonna be like my next time around. Am I gonna have an accident baby? That would be amazing. I would be amazing. I would never complain. Um, maybe I'll have a little struggle again. I just have no idea what the future holds for me. And I guess the reason why I wanted to share that story was I wanted to express my gratitude and how grateful I am for all of the kind comments, all of the nice words, and all of the support when I know it's not easy on the other end. You guys may be on the other end watching this and you have your own struggle, whether it be infertility, whether it be arguments with the spouse, whether it may be arguments with a family member, I really appreciate the love and support. It does mean a lot and I'm really grateful for that. So thank you guys so much for watching my 22 week update. I will end with a belly shot. <laughs>